Digden Outdoors Television is brought to you by Heavy Shot, the industry leader in performance shot shell ammunition. Power Calls, unleash the power. Yukonuba, the official dog food of Higdon Outdoors. Momarsh, hunt hard, hide easy. Hey, what's going on guys? This morning we've got, uh, obviously we're still up here in Saskatchewan. We've got a field this morning that's got a bunch of darts and a bunch of ducks in it. So there is a chance that we're gonna be able to pull a Tim Hortons double-double on them this morning. All right, so if you notice, I'm not wearing any calls today. This is my call. It's the remote for the flashers. We've got Kelly Powers up here. We've got Kyle Jones up here, Brooke Richard up here, and Bo Brooks up here. And all of them are a lot better than I am on a duck and a goose call. So I've got a pretty easy job this trip. I put myself right in the middle of them. I let them call the birds, they're calling the shots, and we just come up and shoot them, man. It's been pretty good so far. You get a lot of championship and very, very proficient callers in the field. It makes it a lot easier, especially if the birds aren't necessarily wanting to work into that field. Hey guys, we got a light wind this morning. It's supposed to be around six to 11 miles an hour on up in the morning around seven, eight o'clock. But uh, we got some ducks out into our front on a slough about a mile and a half away, about a mile and a half to our back, we got a bunch of Canada's. There's actually a little stubble row that separates a wheat field and a barley field. Ducks and geese are on both sides of it. We're committing to one side. We're putting our blinds to the very back of the spread. That way the geese and ducks are looking out front. They're not looking at the very back. If we put decoys behind us, that puts the blinds right in the middle of the spread, right in the middle of their focal point. So if we're in the middle, they're looking right at us. By putting the blinds at the very back, it keeps their eyes way up front, and they'll center up right in front of the blinds for, for safe shots. If the wind blows like it should blow, they ought to want to center up right here on our new decoys that we got right out front. We got a little landing flock that hopefully is gonna be their focal point that they see, and uh, our goal is to have them land right here, right beside that. So check it out, we'll see how it works. Hey Bo, just one thing I just wanna make clear. Steve is my friend, and I don't really want—I don't really want anybody else trying to befriend him. So, if we can just knock that off. See how I have this flock here? We want to come in. They're going to land at the tails. One thing that I always like to do is the tallest center you've got. I call them my soldiers. So especially if it's like right on the fringe of the spread. See my those soldiers right there? They're, if their geese are coming that way and they want to land here, when they get face to face with that other goose, they'll bounce. They're going to cut right and come to the calling. If I had six great big tall centers. I mean, is that oh, dead, dead serious. They'll never lead head to head into another bird. So today we've got like a the common J hook. And at the very top of the J, our last decoys that we have, I like to put my great big soldiers. So as the geese are oncoming, and they'll that's their focal point. They're looking at that end of the J in a sense. And if they try to land there, when they get low, we I face those centuries towards them. Because geese are real territorial. For the most part, they're not gonna land head to head with another bird. They will see that century facing them and they'll cut right, right into the calling and basically pull right up to where our guns are at. But if we didn't have that and the birds are facing away, it's more inviting for them to land at the tails of the other geese and they'll nip at their tail feathers as they're feeding throughout the field. So by having those great big centuries I call soldiers facing the oncoming flock, it creates a bounce where they come in, they'll bounce off them, go into the rest of the spread and be right in front of your setup. How did you get the heavy hex? I just got the... Oh, you just got the heavy metal? Mm -hmm. You aren't Bo Brooks. Introducing the new and improved Heavy Metal from Heavy Shot. 16% more downrange knockdown power with new higher density bismuth pellets layered over corrosion resistant steel. Try the new Heavy Metal today and increase your odds. Tighter patterns, longer range, clean kills. Heavy Shot, I didn't come this far to miss. Ready. Get ready. 
I'm back. Good shot, guys. He just blew the hole in the side of that decoy like no other. Oh my god! <laughs> it's alpha! What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't even know how he hit the, he hit the duck through the decoy. There's no doubt. Look at this! I shot the mallard that was behind his head. Was still no, up no, he, he shot through it. that decoy. No, That's there's how a he hole clean thing. through the decoy. <laughs> no, no. Man, you pa your pattern's Hold so tight. Hold that up to the sun. Hey, here's my entry shot. shot. He was quartering away. Here's my you perfect heart shot. Hey, you double lunged him. Did you kill the duck? Absolutely. Through the deal. Kill. He didn't even he didn't even hit it in the head like he was aiming for. He shot through that decoy. Heavy X killed that decoy. And the duck. Buddy of mine back at home is a guide and he goes through this field first thing in the morning and tells them, says, Alright guys, here's the deal. I'm I'm the only one calling and birds are gonna come in the in the timber hole and I'll tell you when to shoot. Be safe on the guns and all that. And said if you shoot a decoy it's ten dollars. If you shoot a flasher, it's fifty. Hunter looks at him, pulls out a hundred dollar bill, says, here, this should cover me for the day. Just keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> That's tongue and cheek right there. Right over top, Kevin. Coming out front, out front now. Let this bunch come in. Let them come. Out front, big group. Get ready, guys. Good shooting, fellas. Back left shoulder, coming out front. <laughs> One o'clock, two o'clock. Coming back to the left, coming out front. A little better. That was good. That was good. They worked out. They I worked. Killed my perfect. first duck that volley. You guys got to witness that with me. That was really dope. Hey man, the ones that are doing it are doing it. They are. It's a lighting deal. I mean, when they're they're coming from our backs and the sun's right in their eyes, you see that one or two that takes her head and peels back, and that sun hits the flashers and it's over. You know the hide is pretty dead gum good too because they're. I mean, they're we're spotlighted in it. They can see everything, every sunglass glint, ever band, everything, you know, so. So we're actually taking these Invisimans, which which is, you know, we, we kind of laugh about it, but it's the last layout. It's the last blind you would ever need in a sense, because you take, uh, you know, th they're meant for water, for, for hunting in a, you know, two foot of water or so, and the legs flip out on it, and you can set down in it, and it's, it's a cover, but what we're doing is we're folding the legs up under where it's compact, and lay it down and you know on the ground and hunt right on the ground and man it's it's pretty stinking comfortable um your legs are exposed and what we do is just pull our legs up put decoys around us and your head well you can get in and out of the blind easy um low profile comfortable seat um i mean the feature wise you got pockets and all this in the blind it's works out great for even a field hunt and if we we go tomorrow and gonna hunt the edge of water or a pothole you're all set
Birds are picky. When it comes to choosing the right blind, you should be too. At Momarsh, our waterfowling philosophy is simple. To have the most success, you need to be mobile, comfortable, and concealed. Whether it's shallow water, the field, or a spot for your best friend, Momarsh has you covered. Come see what the ducks can't. Hunt hard, hide easy. Momarsh. Bo, you gotta close your doors for I can. Thank you. We're, we have become a, a single unit now. In the sun, one o'clock coming in, coming in. Single. Got a pair. Right, left, right to left. Hey, Brooke, hit those flashers on the timer if you can. Here we go, here we go. Two o'clock, coming from right to left, right out front, low. We got a mob over our head, big mob over our head. Get him. One got out, boys. Just one. The biggest contributing factor when you second guess yourself, it's always wind. When you have lack of wind, you second guess everything. Decoy set up, are they seeing you? How to run the flashers, on or off? When to turn them off, when to put them on timers? All those things, but the number one contributing factor is a lack of wind. You know, and there's, we can second guess a lot of things and, and but I think being patient on them, I mean, because they, they, they worked for four or five swings. And the last swing, it was, it was perfect.
I guess this one it didn't work out. They actually started hitting another field and now it's just following the leader. They're coming off the roost and going to this other field. So we're actually gonna call it early and we're gonna put a scout on that field for tomorrow morning. And uh, so kind of get things sped up a little bit and uh, we actually can shoot some ducks. We're gonna get some ducks here this afternoon. But uh, the geese, so we're gonna put a good scout on them, pinpoint them, and then we'll have another one of our scouts to watch them again this afternoon, put them to bed. Tomorrow morning's hunt should be good. Stay with us. Inside every dog is something extraordinary, waiting to be unleashed. For the people who recognize their potential, who coach raw ability into dogs who inspire awe. For people whose greatest achievement is the bond they've built and the stories they share. We're with you, fueling the extraordinary things your dog can do. Out front, out front, out front. Get ready, four pack. Ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. Get ready, get ready. Coming in, right side, right side. Three o'clock. Right side, right side, right side. Get ready, get ready. Get her. Nope, watch the big group. Get down, get down, watch the big group. The big group's doing up front. Oh, get back, back, cover up. They're coming right over. Okay. Coming around the right side. Out front, out front, on the pair. Got him. Get him. Get him! Uh oh, we got problems. What? <laughs> we got bad problems. You shot the GoPro. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> Listen, I shot the decoy this morning. That one hey, is not me. Hey, look here. At this angle with these weeds, like it covers it. <sighs> we got a problem. And I look up, and the GoPro's waving, and I'm like, oh god, <laughs> Kelly. Powers just shot the GoPro at seven feet. Oh well, yeah. The decoy thing isn't a big deal anymore, is no. it? No, it's not. <laughs> is that gonna be cash or credit? Hey, it's good. Guys, it says hey, repairing we, file though, so we gotta wait a second. There you go, it's good. Are you serious? We're good, framed up nice and tight. Is it connected? Well, it just connected. All right. well, we found out a heavy X cannot destroy. Like GoPros are hey, the here. toughest things on planet Earth. See these tall weeds right here? I mean, it's like lined up perfect, and I'm looking at the bird, and it's can't see it. He's dead. Kelly, you shot the GoPro. I did. The key is, is I didn't miss the GoPro beam. But you were aiming at a duck. <laughs> That's the key. And he got the duck. And the duck. Let me give you a challenge. Next flock that comes in, you kill a duck and a GoPro with one shell. I'm probably just going to shoot a duck. <laughs> we're not stopping with just one GoPro. I got one on the side right here that's been giving me trouble one, two, the whole three, time, four. and I'd right I love to smoke it. I'm gonna put it on the top of the pile pick. Oh, goodness. Another great right side. Watch them up top. Oh boy. Kamikaze. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, coming in hard. Get ready, get ready. One o'clock, two o'clock, coming back. Get ready, right side, coming in. Get them. Ho! Get up. Watch them up top. Oh boy. Kamikaze. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock, coming in hard. Get ready, get ready. 
one o'clock, two o'clock, coming back. Get ready, right side, coming in. Get him. Ho! Get up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> one would come up, boom. Another one, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, uh, boom. <laughs> oh, great fun, great fun. Uh, have another round, please. Here's five dollars. And as low as we're setting, I mean, we had to. You had to wait till they got clear of the GoPros and decoys for sure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> I deserve it. No, no hey, but funny. they disappeared. One would come up and it would, it'd go, then one would be over here, then two. You can't see it. What? It's banded. Is it really banded? It is banded. Yeah. yeah. I shot this duck all the way over here, so y'all yeah. can fight over that one. There's be a leg band. Hand me the duck I shot, man. They don't ban GoPros, Kelly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Feel how heavy that duck is. It's, it's full of heavy X. That's why it's heavy. It's full of that stuff. There you go. Want to flip a coin? But nope. Boom. Well, nope. Keep it. You can have this one. Next band we kill together, I'll take it. Front right, front right, front right. I mean, I'll, I'll flip with you. <laughs> <laughs>